The issue of what insurance you need and how much you need is often on people's minds. We'd feel foolish if we didn't get the protection that we need and are left exposed, but we don't want to waste money on what we don't need either. We want to be smart about what types and how much insurance to have. Hello, I'm Pat Zumwich, your YouTube CFP. If that question of adequate insurance is on your mind, then stay tuned for a quick review. First of all, keep in mind insurance is simply the economic concept of sharing catastrophic risk. The risk is that some event will happen to us individually that is unpredictable in its nature, such as a house fire or your own death. Not everyone will have a house fire and not everyone will die within a defined range of years. Insurance companies thus calculate the frequency of that particular event happening and they pool the premiums of insurance holders to cover the payout when it does. Insurance premium payouts are thus wasted if your house never burns to the ground. But on the other hand, you're protected from the economic disaster that would financially wipe you out if it does. So, what are the insurances you need? In my book, two types of policy coverages are always needed. Four are sometimes needed and seven are never needed. This video covers just the needed insurance. Needed coverages should be purchased with a high deductible, say $1,000 or $2,000. The reason for the high deductible is that your premium will be lower if you've created your own emergency fund that can cover the deductible but have still eliminated the catastrophic risk. The saved premiums, not paid out wastefully, contribute to your long-term financial success. By creating an emergency fund, you have fundamentally become your own insurance company. I think that's pretty neat. Okay, now to the two insurance coverages you need. We all live somewhere and need our home and goods protected. If you own a home, you need homeowner's insurance. Make sure you keep your home value up to date and get replacement coverage. If you are renting, you should get renter's insurance. It is unfortunately true that renters get robbed as often as homeowners do, so don't think it won't happen to you. Second on the list of needed insurance is health insurance. Either get this coverage through your workplace, which is often subsidized to some level, or through the public affordable care exchange. No one can be denied health coverage for what was formerly called pre-existing medical conditions so we can all now get coverage. I would highly encourage you to consider a high deductible plan, which is cheaper in premiums again because the policy deductibles are high. However, make sure you have built up an emergency reserve before you do an HDHP because if you need to pay out money for a health issue that you encounter, you need to have the money to pay for it without relying on credit cards. Those are the only two types of insurance coverages everyone needs. See the next video for the coverages people might need, and the last one in the series for insurance you should never get. As always, thank you for letting me help you do wise things with your money.